mentioned leadership for the 21st century earlier. Talk to us about that concept. Uh, so this is very much the thrust of the TEDx talk that I gave, uh, which is actually how we got connected. And the idea is that I saw so many people, so I will say I sort of straddle two generations, Generation X and Generation Y. Um, and I, so in, in, in that perspective, I think I have like an interesting vantage point where I can see all the things that are great about being a millennial and I identify very much as that, but I can also see sort of this different perspective of what may hinder us and, and what sort of drawbacks we need to be aware of, or, or maybe drawbacks isn't the right word, but um, challenges that you know, sort of might be inherent in our approach. And so one thing I saw a lot was that so many people my age and younger who are really coming up through the leadership sort of ladder um, were, were, you know, excelling, super high achieving, and one of two things was happening. Either they were finally getting into that, that title, that position, or even like the salary that they wanted, and they were feeling deeply unfulfilled, or they were getting to the point where it was time to take like the next big step and, you know, go from like the number two person to a number one person on a team or in a company. And they were just totally uninspired and I think kind of dejected by the status quo of leadership, which is very much a, a style that defines success as achievement only. And I think that felt really hollow and empty to people. And I think we also saw a lot of really unethical people <laughs> sort of at the top. I mean, if you look around the world and in the news, you can see that. So that's, I don't think that's anything specific to our generation. But I was really, I was troubled to see so many awesome high quality people, you know, leaving their positions or deciding it just wasn't worth it. So that's when I started, I started putting together the work I was doing, sort of interviewing all these high achieving, but also fulfilled people and impactful people and thinking about, okay, what is, is there some sort of like pattern of behavior or, or philosophy that underlies their approach? And that's what really drove me to, to you know, I, I call it the new alpha model just because we needed a model, right? There's like the traditional alphas who are high achieving, but then there's these new alphas, people who are just as high achieving, but also impactful and fulfilled. And I think it's sort of that triumvirate that makes them different. And I think that's what's going to define leadership for our generation and the century to come is that people are incredible human beings who know what's important to them. They understand themselves and what they bring to the table and are passionate about the work that they're doing. And I think that bleeds through and other people detect that and are inspired by that. But they also hit big goals and they're doing things in the world that aren't just about money. It's about making the world and our communities better.